Tasmania's lucrative rock lobster industry, beset by falling stocks and high demand, has come up with a radical plan to boost its fortunes. It's funding a project to relocate juvenile crayfish on the west coast to waters where they'll grow faster and bigger. Seven years of trials have shown the science works. Now industry wants to know if it will make a profit. Found in deep water off Tasmania's southwest coast, these crayfish are too pale and too small for commercial fishing. These locations where the growth rates are slow just have phenomenally high densities of lobsters. That's something I think a lot of people don't appreciate. Just in our research trapping, we average around 40 lobsters every time we set a pot. So the densities are extremely high, um, which makes it very easy to catch a lot of lobsters quickly and then move them. Tenders have been called for charter boats to move 100,000 rock lobsters to inshore waters along the west coast. Trials have shown the fish become much bigger and redder after only a few months. The survival rate is high and there's been no adverse effect on fish numbers in the areas they've been taken from. The expected boost to stocks is the equivalent of cutting the total commercial catch limit by 10%. 10% is pretty good for a commercial industry, any commercial industry really, um, and it's just a pilot. So in the future, yeah, the gains are really very substantial. Which is why the rock lobster industry is funding the commercial pilot. We know that it works, but now what we've got to prove now is whether we can do it on a, on a commercial scale. In other words, that it doesn't cost us more to do it than the benefit that we may get out of it. The intent really is to try to benefit all of Tasmania because if you increase production on the west coast, that drags commercial effort away from the east coast and that rebuilds lobster stocks on the east coast, which is good for recreationals and also good um, for dealing with this urchin um, barren problem which we have on the east coast of Tasmania. The Rock Lobster Translocation Project will run for two years. Cara Douglas, ABC News.